today we're going to talk about dividing polynomials. Now one of the methods to divide polynomials is regular long division like you learned in grade school and there's another method called synthetic division and there are benefits and drawbacks of each of them so we're going to talk about both of them learn how to use both of them and then talk about um, when one method is better than the other. So just as a kind of warm up, let's talk about long division with just regular numbers. So we have 2,345 divided by eight, where this is called the dividend and this eight is the divisor. So what that means is that eight is gonna go on the outside and on the inside, 2,345. And we ask ourselves, how many times does 8 go into 2? Well, zero times. So then we say, how many times does 8 go into 23? Well, it goes in twice. Because 8 times 2 is 16. 8 times 3 is 24. When we do 2 times 8, we get 16. Then we subtract. 23 minus 16 is 7. Then we bring down this 4 and say, how many times does 8 go into 74? Well, I know 8 times 9 is 72. So 9 there. So 9 times 8 is 72. Then subtract. We get 2. And then we bring down the 5. And say, how many times does 8 go into 25? Well, it goes in 4 times. 8 times 4, I'm sorry, 3 times, 3 times 8 is 24, and we're left with 1. So we used to write it as this, 2, 293 remainder 1. Remainder. Now we're going to talk about, you know, the math way to write it. So it was 293, but we had a remainder of 1, and we are dividing by eight. So we write it as plus one eighth. Our remainder we're always adding. So always plus sign. Because that, that's our leftovers. Eight went into 2,345 293 times and there was one left over, well one out of eight. So this would be your answer. So when we divide polynomials using long division, it's kind of the same process. So we have our dividend here, x to the third plus 3x squared. Notice how there's no x to the first power. So we need to write 0x and minus 7. And then our divisor, x squared minus x minus 2. So the same idea. How many times does, we look at the first term, does x squared go into x to the third power? It goes in x times because x times x squared is x to the third. And I'm going to write it over the other x to the first power just so that all the terms line up. So I'm going to multiply x times x squared. We get x to the third. x times negative x is negative x squared. x times negative 2 is negative 2x. And then we're going to subtract. x to the third minus x to the third, those go away. 3x squared minus negative x squared. Well, minus and negative means we're going to be adding. So that's 4x squared. 0x minus negative 2x is going to be positive 2x. And then the 7 will just come down. Then we ask ourselves, how many times does x go into 4x squared? And that's 4 times. 4 times x squared is 4x squared. 4 times negative x is negative 4x. And 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. And then we subtract 4x squared minus 4x squared is 0. 
2x minus negative 4x. Again, we're adding because minus the negative. That's going to give us 6x. Negative 7 minus negative 8 is going to be positive 1. So this is our remainder. That means my answer is x plus 4, you know, the thing that was up here, our quotient, plus our remainder, 6x plus 1, over our divisor, x squared minus x minus 2. And again, we have our plus sign um, in between. Now as a bonus, you know, is this a polynomial? No, this is not a polynomial. Why? Because we have negative exponents. Yes, they're positive exponents in the denominator, but if we brought them up to the numerator, they'd be negative exponents. So these are not polynomial, or this, this quotient is not a polynomial function. All right, so this one, our dividend, 2x to the fourth plus x to the third. We don't have an x squared, so we got to write 0x squared plus x minus 1. And then here is our divisor. Well, how many times does x squared go into 2x to the fourth? That's going to be 2x squared because 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the fourth. So 2x squared, and again, I'm lining it up with the other x squared to make life a bit easier. So then we multiply. 2x squared times x squared is 2x to the fourth. 2x squared times 2x is 2x to the third. Sorry, 4x to the third. 2x squared times negative 1 is negative 2x squared. And then we're going to subtract. 2x squared minus 2x squared go away. Sorry, 2x to the 4th minus 2x to the 4th cancel out. x to the 3rd minus 4x to the 3rd is negative 3x to the 3rd. 0x squared minus negative 2x squared. Well, minus a negative becomes positive. And then we bring down these guys. You don't necessarily need to bring down the negative 1, but you, you can. All right, well, let's, let's not bring down that one. Let's try. So now how many times does x squared go into negative 3x to the third? That's going to be negative 3x. And then negative 3x times x squared is negative 3x to the third. Negative 3x times 2x is negative 6x squared. Negative 3 times, or negative 3x times negative 1 is going to give us... Um, positive 3x, and then we subtract. Negative 3x to the third minus negative 3x to the third, or minus a negative, so those will go away. 2x squared minus negative 6x squared, that's going to give us um, 8x squared, and then x minus 3x will give us negative 2x. And then we can bring down this negative 1. Almost done. So then we'll say how many times does x squared go into 8x squared? That'll be 8 times. 8 times x squared is 8x squared. 8 times 2x is 16x. 8 times negative 1 is negative 8. So then we subtract. Now, one of the things that you could do, um, and maybe this will confuse you, or maybe this will help, is you can change this to plus, but then change all of these signs. That might make it a little bit easier. Now, 8x plus, sorry, 8x squared plus negative 8x squared, those cancel out. Negative 2x plus negative 16x is negative 18x. Negative 1 plus positive 8 is positive 7. 
again, that might uh, have confused you or that might have been helpful just to change this to a, from the subtraction sign to a plus sign, but then you'd have to change the signs of everything else. So our answer is 2x squared minus 3x plus 8 plus our remainder negative 18x plus 7 over x squared plus 2x minus 1. So that would be our answer. And like we did for the last problem as bonus information, again, this is not a polynomial. And we kind of did that right here. Are the answers, for example, one and two polynomials? Nope, they are not polynomials because we do not have full like, positive exponents. So one way for dividing polynomials was long division, which we did up here. Another way is doing synthetic division. Synthetic division you will find um, much quicker. However, when it comes to uh, being able to do synthetic division, you have to be dividing by a, poly, uh, by a binomial. So that's what that looks like. Can, uh, synthetic division can be used to divide any polynomial by a divisor in the, in the form um, x minus uh, a number or plus a number. So it would have to be x to the first power, and it has to be number a number, you know, 1x. And when you are dividing using th synthetic division, you have to make sure that you're dividing by the 0, not the factor. So like here, we see that um, in example 3, 2x to the third plus 9x squared plus 14x plus 5 divided by x minus 3. So we're actually going to be using the opposite of that, x equals 3. So when we do synthetic division, we focus on the coefficients. So we write our coefficients 2, 9, 14, and 5. And just like with long division, you have to make sure that if you don't have a, a certain degree, you put 0 there. So if we didn't have uh, 14x, we would write then 0 right here instead of 14. So we just do our coefficients. And then over here, we write just the number 3. So with synthetic, with synthetic division, this goes down 2. We do 2 times 3, which is 6. And then instead of subtracting like we did with long division, we add. 9 plus 6 is 15. 15 times 3 is 45. 45 plus 15, that will give us 59. And then 15 9 times 3, uh, I do that in my calculator, we get 177. And then we add that, 5 plus 177 is 182. So what happens, you know, what, what do we do with all this information? This number right here is our remainder. And that re tells us a couple of things. We can write our remainder. It also tells us that if we were to plug in 3 for x into this equation, we would get 182. So this tells us f of 3 is 182. That's just an extra bit of information here. Um, but our answer, our, well, but our actual answer is going to be 2x squared. We get the 2 from here. And our degree goes down by 1. So we were at x to the third, so it's going to be 2x squared plus, whoops, plus 15x. We get the 15 from there. Plus 59 plus our remainder of 182 divided by x minus 3 because that's what our divisor was. We were dividing by x minus 3. So this would be your complete answer. So this is a little bit quicker than long division. Um, it's just it's not very um, in, intuitive where everything comes from. 
All right, let's try another one over here. So we have x to the third, so with a coefficient of 1. And then negative x squared, so minus 1 will be your coefficient. We don't have an x to the first power, so 0, and then negative 10. And we are dividing by not 2, negative 2. I'm sorry, we are dividing by x plus 2, but when we use synthetic division, we're going to write in negative 2. So then this 1 comes down. 1 times negative 2 is negative 2. Negative 1 plus negative 2 is negative 3. Negative 3 times negative 2 is 6. And 0 plus 6 is 6. 6 times 2, negative 12. And when I add those, we get negative 24. So then my answer is going to be 1x squared minus 3x plus 6. And remember, this last one is always your remainder. So plus negative 24 over x plus 2. And that would be uh, your answer here. So I want you to pause the video and try these last two uh, right here, both of these solos. So uh, once you are done, unpause it and check to see if we got the same answer. So these are your answers. Hopefully the first solo, the x to the third plus 4x squared minus x minus 1, wasn't too difficult because there weren't any coefficients missing uh, that you had to fill in. Uh, the last one, you had to fill in some missing coefficients. So we had 1x to the fifth. Then we had 0x to the fourth, negative 10x to the third, 0x squared, 5x to the first, and then minus 1. So this one was a little bit uh, longer. And let's see, I forgot the plus 403 over x minus 4. So that would be our complete answer with our remainder. So the last one, and I'm going to have you guys work on this as well, but I want to talk about whether we're going to use long division or synthetic division. Well, you got to use long division because what our divisor right here is not a linear binomial. It's a quadratic. So you must use long division. The divisor is not a linear binomial. So I'll set this up and then I'm going to have you guys um, give it a go uh, to see what you get. So we're going to have x squared minus 3x plus 5 divided by 3x to the fourth minus 5x to the third plus 0x squared plus 4x minus 6. So go ahead and divide this and once you're done unpause it and we can compare. All right so you can see my work and my answer. So uh, check your answer to see if this is what you got. If you didn't get this, look at the work over here and see where you may have made a mistake. Um, I, I will say that one of the most common mistakes is always going to be when you are subtracting, uh, especially since we see a lot of negatives here. Even if you have to remember subtracting a negative, you're doing the same as adding. So um, this might be a video that you may need to review uh, again, and that's totally okay. Uh, so thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe.